Here we are, uh, September 11th, 2016, up on the prairie orchard, and uh, we're gonna check on some of our fruit here and determine whether it is harvest time. Just gonna lift up on this and see if the stem, yeah, comes right off. So I think we'll uh, pick the rest of these red Bartlets and move on to some of our other trees. Here we are at the green Bartlett tree. And look at that, it comes out very easily. Beautiful. That just came off with not even a twist, just a slight lift. Here we are with the moon glow pears, and we're just going to see if uh, these are going to come off easy. They don't appear to be ready for picking yet, so we'll leave these uh, moon glow pears alone for now. And here we are up in the uh, row of pears now with our uh, white doyenne, pretty sizable white doyenne here. Let's just see if this is ready to come off. The tree. Yeah, sure is. That's a pretty pear. These again are uh, no spray organic uh, pears. There's nothing applied, not even organic uh, pesticides to control um, the pests. And this is a beautiful pear coming off of our um, white doyenne pear tree. Let's uh, start tackling the rest of these pears. This is really fun and exciting as I've been working on these trees for a number of years uh, to get them ready for fruiting. Beautiful pears. This is the uh, production out of uh, my single young white Diane pear tree. Um, and it's pretty incredible. These are reasonable sized uh, white doyenne pears. Some of them are even bigger than this. There's a, a couple that have a little bit of deformity, um, which is not unexpected given there's no spray on any of these pears of any type. Um, there was uh, one pear that actually uh, seem to have been infested with some wasps. They created a cavity inside the pear and I kept it just to, to show, oh look, we got this interesting friend here. Hello friend. Forget the name of that bug, we'll have to look that one up. Um, but I will find that cavity pear and show it to you in a minute. But apart from that, all these others actually are intact and edible. Uh, here is the one that with the cavity. So it's uh, quite surprising. No spray of any type, no protection. Uh, some deformity like this on some of the pears, but most of the pears really not even that. And then only one pear that seems to have been um, eaten by a wasp or um, some ants. 
So pretty pretty good yield um, with no spray on and this And we have tree. this uh, unknown pear tree, could be Anjou. And actually in looking at these pears this year, they look like they could even just be some green Bartlett. It was a, um, originally billed to us as a different type of pear, but uh, it's clearly not that original pear. And let's just see if these are ready for picking. They seem to be coming off pretty easily. And there's not a huge number of pears on this tree. We'll just uh, clean this uh, tree up then. Gonna have to figure out how to get those up there. I know we uh, spend a lot of time thinking about how these fruit are going to taste, but I think it's important to recognize that these fruit um, have an aesthetic or uh, a beauty that really is just astonishing at times. But you got to sit back and take a look. Uh, so this white onion pear, obviously a background of green with these beautiful red freckles or specks. Um, just a, an unusual combination of colors. Um, combined with uh, colors that are not even intrinsic to the fruit, but uh, this bacteria that's growing on the, the skin of the pear, which really does not affect the quality of the eating, but just uh, adds yet another uh, color uh, to this earthy appearing fruit. Here's one of our larger uh, green Bartlett's. You can see the uh, sooty colors of this bacteria or fungi growing on the skin um, on this uh, green pear that has freckles, dark freckles, and some evidence of injury. Very pretty pear. And then our red Bartlett, sort of red with the earthy, sooty color superimposed upon it. A nice uh, glowing skin there. Very pretty fruit. Feel very fortunate to have these fruit growing on my um, prairie orchard. Beautiful day up here in the prairie orchard. Uh, just walking up this path to my uh, vines and also my trees. Little prairie dock and bloom, Indian grass hanging over my path, beautiful clouds in the background. It's really a gorgeous day. I've been growing these grapes just for a little bit of fun. Uh, the birds get to a lot of them. Um, I think uh, some of these fruit are ready for picking. This is nice and soft and juicy. Mmm. Mmm. Nice deep flavor, not just pure sweet. So these will be gone in the next few minutes. Not much of a harvest, but extremely satisfying on this September day up in Michigan.